Alrighty, I got a little uh, project I'm working on here and uh, just wanted to share it with everybody. I'm going to have eventually a uh, elevated portion over my layout and I'm probably going to be using uh, Bachman Easy Track on some of it and then in the straight parts probably using bridges. Uh, <clears throat> my project is that uh, I wanted to build some kind of a pier system and Obviously, I'm, where it doesn't fit, I'm going to have to make piers that fit the over the track and, and all that kind of stuff. But what I wanted to show today was uh, the old Atlas 3-inch, uh, I think they're 3 inches, but either way. Uh, yeah, 3-inch bridge piers, there it is right there. How awesome. Uh, what I want to do is show how to use Atlas bridge piers with uh, Bachman Easy Track. Uh, this actually is model power uh, uh, well they called it uh, some kind of lock locket track or, or whatever it's basically the same thing and because what I want to do is use the curves on the uh, on the Bachman track and on the straights I'm going to be using Atlas bridges so I want to be able to combine because this has got a much more full look uh, with this uh, ballast underneath it and then later you can come back and you can actually just uh, I'm just going to set that on the top. Can't do this with one hand. And, and actually later, just come back with landscaping and go down to the ground if you want to create a uh, you know, wall or whatever. But you got something to attach it to with this. So what I did was, uh, on the back side, I took in the old Atlas, good old snap saw or whatever they call it now. Super saw, I think they call it. Got that today. You know, it's funny, 50 years and I never bought one, but I finally got one today. Anyway, I took and measured uh, how far back to the center it would be for the uh, track to fit on top and uh, then I marked it on here and it just cut through with the saw you know down to the ties now I don't want to do I did over here I cut I cut down to through the tie but you can put an extra tie back on there if that's what you do anyway uh, to make it where it uh, will fit up in here so I'm doing this with one hand and it's not real easy when you're trying to film and get this back in here okay anyway locks in there just like a like it was made for it that way here on this side over here you can put a bridge instead of this open tie look that you get with all the old atlas track plan books you've got a more full looking uh, section and even if you don't do anything else with it it looks better like this okay so and like i said afterwards if you want to uh, you could actually get some curved girder or some girder and curve it and build you a curved girder bridge Which is I don't ever understood why nobody ever made 18 inch radius curved girder bridges to me. They would have sold like crazy especially for Atlas because How many turns are in those up and over? Uh, pier sets, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's a pretty simple thing. Just take a saw and cut a part of this off and uh like I said, it's not too difficult. Just measure back how far you think you need. It looks like about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more. And it may be a little bit different. This is a model power track. It's basically the same thing with an easy track, whatever. And it just took about, you know, five minutes for this one piece. And uh, then you can use these piers, which look much better than, you know, some of the other piers I've seen for this, you know, of course, it, nothing's going to look like making a, a cast one yourself or whatever. But this is the fastest, easiest way to do over the track uh, bridges and track with uh, easy track and with uh, Atlas piers. Because uh, Atlas is snap track to me. I love Atlas snap track. I always have. I just didn't ever care too much for the switches. Uh, it's quick. It's easy. It's reliable. And uh, that's this way you can just... Uh, Put this together, take a little time, cut it, be, be easy with it. You know, try not to cut this tie through here. Uh, then you can connect your bridges to it, and you've got a pretty good looking up and over line. And it's going to be months probably before I get to this, but I wanted to play around with it now so I could be buying uh, bridge piers and and the track I'm going to need for the uh, the up and over line, which is going to be, uh, I think I showed this before, and I, I knocked off my my elevated section here. I, was, I had it up on these one by fours just to see what it was going to look like but anyway it's kind of like this and you know like i said this gives it a more solid looking appearance using this um 
I know it's not prototype, but who gives a crap? You know, uh, tell just tell those people to shut up. It's your railroad. Anyway, and then uh, you can put any anywhere you got a straight section, you can put uh, bridges, and even along this whole back section here, if I want to, I can run bridges all the way back there. You know, and put some kind of a washout underneath back here. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, these things have been around forever. I used them in N scale, but I never used them in HO. And uh, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, to me, it's a quick and simple way to uh, get you an elevated track system. It's not real complicated, and you can also put your terminal rail joiners here, and you could run it down through this opening and drill a hole under the bridge pier and run it. Nobody will ever even see them. So keep that in mind too. Anyway, that's all for now.